Cornelius is coming with a selection on the saxophone. Let's say God bless you as he come. Come on, y'all. Y'all can do better than that. Come on. One of ours. Come on and bless the Lord, everybody. Come on and bless the Lord, everybody. Not somebody. Come on, bless the Lord, everybody. Okay, not mostly everybody. Come on and bless the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of the Lord. Glory to the name of the Lord. We bless God for being here. We always count it an honor and a privilege to stand before God's people. We count it an honor and a privilege to stand in the house of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. See, I've been sitting here for the past couple of hours enjoying the worship and enjoying the praise that's been going forth. And my spirit is so full. Because believe it or not, there are people in today that cannot experience the presence of God like we're experiencing freely here today. See, we have an honor and a privilege to stand in the house of God and give reverence to a matchless king. So just do me a favor and begin to open your mouth to give God praise. Begin to put a worship on your lips. Don't clap, just open your mouth and worship the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to tell you this, this quick testimony because some of you all know me, some of you guys don't. But within a, a, a two to three year time frame, I went through the, the, the worst hell that you can possibly think of. Mother and father dying eight months apart and my grandfather in between that same time. And my, one of my brothers died and two days after we buried our brother, our cousin dies. I, I ended up losing seven family members within two years. My mother passed away on Mother's Day. Lost my house. Was homeless over a year. Bounced around for 14 months. Still had to travel, still had to minister, still had to play my saxophone. Still had to stand before people telling them that God is faithful even when I didn't believe it myself. Because I'm the only one that's been through that, huh? The woman of God spoke on committing suicide. I, too, tried to kill myself twice. One day I was so tired of everything that I took a handful of pills. Took a handful of pills and swallowed them, and I was mad that I woke up the next day. Another time I was so frustrated that I actually laid in my bed and I prayed that the spirit of death would come and take me out of here because I was so done. I was going through so much, and then on top of that, the left side of my face was stricken with Bell's palsy and was paralyzed for eight months. And so even now, I only have about 95% muscle control on the left side of my face. I'm not even really supposed to be able to play the saxophone. Can't really close the side of my mouth all the way. The left side, my left eye twitches and it gets crooked every now and then. And if you look real close, I can't close my eye all the way sometimes. And then to add a cap on all of that, I battle sickle cell disease every day. In and out of the hospital, in and out of the hospital, in and out of the hospital. The type of sickle cell that I'm diagnosed with, they say that you're on, I'm only supposed to have crisis maybe once or twice a year or maybe once every other year. I've had about 20 sickle cell crises in the last three months. Even today on my way down here, I was in so much pain driving down and, and, and so stricken in my body and so weak in my body. Even when I was praising God, my body was so weak talked to the doctor and she said because of your age you're getting worse so you're probably never going to have a day of no pain so according to the doctor I'm going to be in pain every day so I wake up in pain I go to work in pain I go to bed in pain every day I'm hurting legs hurt, knees hurt, back hurt headaches tired, not a lot of energy, can't do the things that I want to do all the time. It's even gotten so bad to where every time I stand up to play my saxophone, I'm having a crisis. But I serve a God that is more than able. Jesus, 
I serve a God that can do anything but fail. Glory to your name, Jesus. See, I grew up in a, in a house with a praying mother that walked the floor at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning calling on Jesus. I grew up in a church where we slept under the pews during the shut-in. And then woke up and went to school from the church. I grew up in a house where before we walked out of the door, we had blessed our rose on my forehead because my mother was bleeding the blood of Jesus over our life. I grew up in a house where fasting and prayer was a, was a daily norm. Consecration was a way of life, not a choice. I grew up in a house where when you stepped into the house of God, there was an honor and a reverence for his presence. So see, I've changed these past few months because I'm telling you, there's something that God is doing in this season. There's something that God is, is preparing his people for. There's a shifting that is taking place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because if you think for a moment that things are about to be the same, you got another thing coming. Because we are now in a day and age where the young people don't even know who God is. We in a day and age where you tell a young person to pray and fast and they want to think that it's an option. But see, I grew up believing that if you want to, if you want to stay, you got to pray. If you want to last, you got to fast. See, that's what I was brought up in. And so I said that to say that when I went through all of those things in my life, I remember what I was brought up in. So when I wanted to give up and I couldn't give up, I remember who God was. When I tried to run away, I remember who God was. When I tried to kill myself and I woke up the next day, I remember who God was. When my mother died, when my father died, when my grandfather died, when my brother died, I remember who God was. When I just got out of the hospital a couple of days ago, I remember who God was. And the thing that I know about God is that he is able. Glory to your name, Jesus. Glory to your name, Jesus. So begin to lift your voice in this place. Open your mouth, clap your hands, and give God a shout of praise. Because you're good, you're able. God, yes, you are, Jesus. Come on, people of God, begin to stand to your feet in this place. Hallelujah. We go bless the name of the Lord. Glory to your name, oh God. Glory to your name, oh God. Glory to your name, oh God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Thank you for being able. Thank you for delivering our souls. Thank you for saving us. Thank you for making us over. Thank you for shifting us. Thank you for changing us. Thank you for never walking out on us. Thank you for never giving up on us. Thank you for delivering our minds. Thank you for healing our bodies. Thank you for saving our souls. Thank you for breaking the chains of our life. Thank you, Jesus. 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 This song simply says that he's able.